So today we're going to be doing a unit review on this Super Saiyan Trunks from the second Broly movie. I think he's from the second Broly movie. Um, so this guy is pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. He has a good super attack effect and well, super attack effects. And he's also a support type unit that has dodge. He has quite a few things going for him as well as active skill. Yeah. Where he directs the enemy's attacks towards him. Yeah, this is this is some um, something unique. I gotta give Dokkan that massive credit for this card. So, with that being said, uh, let's go and just jump straight into it. So, brilliant plan to conquer the enemy. Of course, it's a Super Saiyan Trunks kid. His leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans 3 key and 50% across the board. And his super attack, that being the Burning Breaker, he gains 50% defense for three turns, which is obviously great for a free-to-play card. And he also does supreme damage to the enemy while giving allies 30% defense for one turn. So uh, a support buff as well as a defensive race for multiple turns is obviously quite good. And he, of course, came out on September 10th of 2024 on both versions. So that was just about, what's that, eight days ago. So this card's only about a week and one day old. <laughs> so this card's passive, that being uh, innocent provocation oh my god bro i've just been terrible with english lately um and i'm not gonna lie for the custom card review um there's a couple words that i do not know how to pronounce and i think it's from like some sort of like anime game or something i don't know uh, or if it's just from from some anime um, you guys will see it when it uh comes up as an upload so this card starts out with two key and 140 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and gets an additional 140 percent attack as well as it launches an additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack when there is another hybrid stance category ally attacking in the same turn nice getting additional super attack chance as well as this card giving hybrid stance category allies one key and 25 percent attack and defense and an additional one key and 25% attack and defense for allies whose names include Gohan Teen as well as Gohan Kid, okay? <laughs> uh, within this character's attacking turn for four turns from the character's entry turn. As well as this card also getting an additional 40% defense when receiving an attack. Nice. As well as a 50% chance to dodge is unrestricted. And he also gets an additional 20% chance to dodge as the first attacker in a turn, which is obviously good. It's good, but it could be a little bit risky when you go up against a, uh, a one of these tougher bosses. And you take that risk, and he takes the normal before he supers. And it could do a lot of damage to him. Like, I mean, let's just be honest. He's a free-to-play uh, tur so this defense can't really hold up against some of these higher end bosses makes a whole lot of sense but hey that getting up to a 70 percent chance to dodge is quite nice it's pretty dependent on the boss though for those normals anyways he also gets an additional 140 percent attack temporarily and he has a temporary high chance to perform a crit wait 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 so he gets 140 percent attack temporarily and a temporary 50% chance to crit upon the character's next attack after dodging an attack, including super attack. Interesting. So, after dodging an attack, when he performs his next attack... Huh. Wow, okay. So he gets crit chance as well as additional attack. And he also gets... What's that? He also gets an additional 20% chance to dodge, up to 20% within the turn within the next attacking turn every time this character dodges five or more attacks in battle including super attacks of course um wow okay so you can get that additional dodge chance he's pretty all right and uh, does that mean he can get up to a 90 percent chance to dodge provided he dodges those five attacks within that turn of course that's for the next attack in turn um, every time this character dodges five more attacks, that's actually good. Now, granted, he has to dodge five more attacks, but he can get up to a 90% chance to dodge. That's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's good for a free-to-play TUR. Most certainly that's good. And my Chrome has been freezing. So if like, uh, my highlighted words stay up for too long, it's because my Google Chrome is, uh, freezing a little bit okay um and his active skill that being come paddle my bottom okay uh go 10 i mean not go 10 trunks okay trunks 
Um, 40% defense and directs enemy attack towards the character for one turn. And he gives hybrid Saiyans, category allies, four key, and that's it. Just four key for one turn. And he can activate it when he dodges five or more attacks in battle once only. Interesting. Okay. So he gets like the little attack aggro thing in his active skill as well as additional defense and as well as him supporting. So uh, a couple things to uh, gather from this character. This character supports in three different parts of his card that being inside of his super attack effect. That being with him giving 30% defense for one turn as well as him giving up to what's that two key and 50% attack and defense. Granted, you do have a Gohan teen and a, a Goten kid attacking the same turn. But still, that's something that's uh, that's good. That's really good. Getting up to two key and 50% attack and defense inside his passive. And then, of course, he gets he gives additional support to hybrid saints that being four key for one turn. So in, in total, that's up to that's up to six key. And I believe six key, 50% attack, and 80% defense that's a lot of support that's combined from his super attack effect his passive and his active skill that's a lot of support granted you are in the right scenario to receive all that support that's that is pretty good yeah six key 50 percent attack and 80 percent defense in the right scenario that's not that's not bad at all I'm pretty sure I did the math correctly on that. So him, granted, he's giving all that support. He can get up to a 90% chance to dodge inside the right scenarios, of course, as well as him having just that base 70% chance to dodge, provided he's inside the first slot. Uh, I mean, technically, he has a base 50% chance to dodge, but he gets up to a 70% chance to dodge as the first attack on a turn. He's solid. He's definitely very solid, for sure. He's meant to uh, be played as a... I mean, he's a free-to-play unit. So he's meant to be played as like a... Uh, just a dodge support character that's pretty much it he's pretty he's pretty all right yeah and his link set is uh the innocence golden warrior super saiyan budding warrior prepare for battle z fighters and shattering the limit and his categories are hybrid saiyans dragon ball seekers movie heroes vegeta's family youth super saiyans gifted warriors bond of friendship bond of parent and child and earth bred fighters and he is on six 200% leader skills, because I did already take a peek at it. He's on six 200% leader skills. Um, and you're most definitely going to be running him either on, uh, yeah, on Gogeta's or, I mean, it makes more sense to run him on the Z Broly movie trio team. I haven't really thought of a name for them. I'm pretty sure the community has already coined a name for them, but I just, I don't know. I just said the Z Broly trio. <laughs> um, or the little Z fighter trio, whatever. Because <laughs> we have two trios, right? Um, and his best linking partner is uh, the Bio Broly movie Goten. Yeah, because he shares the most links with him. And they get up to how much? 5 key, 55% attack, 10% defense, and he debuffs the enemy's defense by 10%. Okay. And you're most definitely going to be running this card right next to the Z Broly trio. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, what is bad about this card? right and can he perform in today's meta um i would say that this card i mean would you count him being a dodge or die card something that's bad about him i mean that's i don't think that's fair to hold that against him because considering the fact that he's a free-to-play tur um he seems solid across the board he just has to dodge full dodge build obviously <laughs> full dodge build absolutely now i was looking at dokkan world's little showcase video and i'm going to be showing it in today's video so shout out to dokkan world i'm gonna say it again after i'm done showing the uh the little clips i'm showing inside this video um yeah i was probably saying he just he just wants to dodge absolutely yeah the activation condition is not even hard to get on his active skill to give him additional defense and of course direct all the attacks to him yeah that's he's he's all right yeah um He's a triple support type unit going from his super attack effect of giving 30% defense to allies for one turn, as well as giving up to, what's that, two key and 50% attack and defense, granted you're in the right scenario, as well as giving four key to hybrid Saiyans characters and his active skill. So he supports from his passive to his super attack effect to his active skill. That's nice. Gets up to a 90% chance to dodge, granted he's in a, the, the scenario two. If not a 90% chance to dodge, he's inside the first slot getting up to a 70% chance to dodge. If not that, he gets up to a 50% chance to dodge if he's inside the second or third slot. He's 
he's all right yeah he can also get additional defense when he receives an attack and uh, what else can his card do i mean of course he gets that crit chance and attack but we don't really care about that for a free to play tur he's okay as well as additional super attack chance i mean for this super attack think of him getting 50 percent defense for three turns he's doing exactly what you expect he's a support that dodges that's good enough <laughs> uh, do we need more free to play units like this i would i mean hey uh <laughs> I would probably say maybe. Now there are some outliers like uh I mean that NTN Loki. That, in that NTN is a little nutty. You guys know who I'm talking about, the little world tournament easy A. Eh? Um now anyways, we have a, a couple of, of uh clips I want to show inside of the Dokkan World's video. Of course, shout out to Dokkan World. I'm gonna link his video down below inside the description. So um start a turn. I mean we got this little thing. I mean, go ten. Goofy. <laughs> so goofy. When I first saw that, I thought that was like a, I thought it was an interesting animation, but then like I read his passive and I was like, oh, okay. Start a turn defense. Um, and attack stat, because why not? All right, go 10. I mean, go 10. Oh my goodness. Trunks. Did I call him go 10 throughout the video? If I did, I'm sorry. Um, 152k. Not great at all. Not great at all, but let's cut him some slack. He is a free to play TUR. Um, I just want to see what his first attack stat's going to be looking like. Um, let's see. So, okay, so these guys are just going to be doing additional supers. Cool. This video is not about you guys. Okay, it's, it's not about you guys. Relax. You guys are great. <laughs> and then uh, Trunks gives us 2.9 million. He's not doing damage. It's fine. It's fine. Now, we're going to skip on over to six minutes in the video right over here. Where he activates the little uh, active skill for his little attack aggro and additional defense as well as four key to hybrid sans characters. Okay, um, let's see that defense um what turn are we on so he's at 586k he's basically a little bit below 600k defense that's pretty that's pretty all right for a free-to-play character he's on turn seven um that's that, that doesn't seem too shabby especially after he supers and grant hills his defense will be a bit higher after he supers and what's that so that's a that's a 50 percent chance of dodge right over there I'm pretty sure it's a 50%. I mean, he's on turn 7, so does he have that, have that additional 20% um, dodge chance? Interesting. One thing I forgot to note is that if he's kept on a rotation inside slot 2 and he dodges those 5 attacks to get that additional 20% chance to dodge, um, he can get that 70% chance to dodge within that turn. Yeah. He, he can be able to get that. And if he's floating, I mean, it'll take a little bit to get unless the, the boss is attacking like crazy inside the last slot. But still. If you're able to get that off, it's obviously quite powerful. Um, now, let's go and skip on over to the end of the video where he's pretty much... I think he's just going for the highest possible attack stat for this guy. Um, let's get the full turn. Not these... The Z trio just doing the 30 different supers. Let's see. Let me go all the way back. I can see that defense. Let's see it. So what do we have here from this? Okay, 647k. I mean, all right. Um, uh, let's go ahead and skip a bit ahead to see that attack stat. Um, with dodge and support, um, he's looking okay. Looking okay. What's that? What was that? 10 million? Hold on. It was 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. Okay. 10 million. Um, he can get to a 70% chance to dodge at the second or third slot. Um, as well as uh, him getting up to a 90% chance to dodge, uh, a 50% chance to crit inside of his passive, but you don't really care about the crit chance for him. Um, supporting from his super attack effect to his passive to his active skill, he can get the little attack aggro. He's unique. Unique uh, support type unit. I mean, only mostly because of that little aggro thing, the little attack aggro. So I think that is about it. Uh, there's not much more to say about him. No, that's particularly about it. I already said the Lincoln Ponders. I said the 200% he just goes, he's solid. Yeah, just like the Vidal from yesterday. Solid. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Join the 24-7 Discord server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. And I'll see you guys in the next video again. I love you all. Peace.